Um, and so thanks for joining us. And so anyway, sometimes people will say, you know, Tony, so, you know, I have some money, left, you know, and I want to, maybe I was thinking about building the Boy Scouts first, or uh, then I'll, I'll, you know, save up and then build the main house um, and, and, and that kind of stuff. So, so my recommendation will be, will be this. Uh, if your money is strong, that means, you know, you have some money and you are making some money and there's a little bit guaranteed that you are going to be making money for at least uh, the, the next five, six years, whatever, um, you can do the Boy Scouts stuff like that. So that would be, that would be like, a, if, if you got it like that, right? Knowing that, but for most people, which I will put myself in that category, uh, for the benefits, there's more benefit of doing the main house, okay? Because I've seen this before. I've seen situations in which, um, you know, people will build a boys' quarters, and for some reason, two things may happen. Maybe the, the location of the boys' quarters interferes with the main house, or sometimes what happens is that, you know, they're not able to continue, right? And I remember when you wait every year, it's going to cost you more money, right? So it's better to do the big project first and do the small project later because you're looking at the finances uh, just base, just basically on inflation alone, right? And so uh, a, a 2,000 square foot house today uh, will be cheaper than, uh, you know, um, than a 1,000 square feet house down the road if you had inflation, okay? So so after that, so for most people, uh, starting with the main house um, is very, very important, especially get, getting the foundation in uh, and stuff like that, because I think too, the, the main house has a tendency to, to motivate you a little bit uh, in terms of, you know, being disciplined and, and trying to follow through uh, uh, in the process. Right, uh, boy scouts are nice, but they're not really um, the most exciting because it's just basic, right? It's just basic uh, and stuff like that. So I think most of the money should go towards, uh, you know, the the main house um, and stuff like that. Now, if you're doing like a bungalow style, right? A bungalow style. I appreciate if you guys uh, click the like button and share the video. Uh, that'd be really, uh, uh, really like that. Um, and so if you do something like a bungalow style, then absolutely you have to, you have to do the bungalow, you know, don't do a boy scouts because sometimes the cost of the boy scouts might be about 50, 60, 70% of the bungalow and stuff, uh, and stuff like that. So, um, so that you strictly have to go, um, to, to the main house. Okay. And so I always, because when I started at Casua, the first house, I almost went the route, you know, you know, I contemplated of doing the Boy Scout test first, but then uh, I'm glad I didn't, you know, and stuff like that, because now, you know, I still, I still will not do any Boy Scout test uh, because there's more rooms and stuff like that. Now, so in terms of building aspect, uh, you want to be thinking about your Boy Scout test, what you are going to do with it, you know, should you go detach and semi-detach. So if you go detach, it's going to be cheaper in that aspect uh, and stuff like that. You're also going to sacrifice some privacy, right? Uh, and sometimes uh, maybe you do the detach in a way that they don't have access to the main house uh, through through the section of the of the property, so they have to exit, you know, come around the house and enter into the main house and that kinds of stuff. That will be overall cheaper than if you do a detach. When it's when it's semi detached, um, then the, no, you say when it's detached, then it's kind of it's a little bit expensive. But also, you have your total privacy in. Trust me, worse do, you can hear through these concrete walls as well. And so then you can have that privacy as well and have those separate units, um, and, you know, and stuff like that will be different plumbing and stuff like that. So if something happens one place, it doesn't really affect the other, that kinds of stuff. Um, and so sometimes, you know, your your caretaker uh, or your, your house help is doing something you don't want to be, you don't want to be preview to listening in and vice versa and, and that kinds of stuff. So you have to think about that, right? But for most for most part, I would say the energy, the resources um, should go even if you are doing attached voice quotas. 
the resources should go to the main house. The main house is the is the main thing. Is the is the is the where a bulk of the finances is going to go, um, and is the most important. The main house is the most important um, than the the boy scouters. And sometimes I hear so that means that maybe you have money for the boy scouters, but I would say still save money and, and get at least your foundation, you know, your foundation going as well. Um, then the question becomes, uh, now I've seen this before. Sometimes I like, well, if I do the main house, then I don't like somebody living in the house. Um, nobody really does, but I think uh, there comes to a point like somebody has to be living in the house to keep an eye on your electrical wiring and certain things, uh, your copper wiring, because uh, it's going to be stolen. Okay. Um, so why do you need boys cutters? It needs boys cutters uh, because for, you know, privacy reasons, which also tie into security reasons, you know, uh, and as well. And also, you know, you need somebody to to basically also to uh, keep an eye on your investment. Because um, basically when you come back here, you can't leave that house uh, unattended for. It only take a few days to people to know that uh, the owner has left. So you have the caretaker, you know, have, a, have his own section and stuff like that. Now with caretakers, there's two, right? You have a temporary caretaker when you are building, Right, so when you are building, you have a kentai uh, caretaker, caretaker, and then when you're done, uh, you have uh, you have your own caretaker, um, and stuff like that. So uh, okay, so factor that in. Uh, who lives there? Uh, you know, caretaker or you know the house help, which also can do can do, uh, you know. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So they are making sure everything is running, you know, the house is uh, being kept, uh, you know, preventing theft and, you know, criminal activity and just making sure that, uh, you know, uh, everything is in place for you. Okay. Um, you know, stuff like that. So, um, Lucia, thank you, Johnny. We'll be getting the job done. Yes, yeah, yes, Johnny. Johnny's uh uh, so no worries, uh, Brim Pond. Uh, he's going to take care of you guys. I have no doubt about that. Um, he's, uh, he's one of my cool guys. That uh, they are very efficient. They're very professional. Sometimes the coat it takes a while. It really takes a while sometimes to get a coat uh, and stuff like that. Um, in the West, it's easier. You can just be online and Google stuff. But Ghana sometimes, you now prices are also different, right? Kumasi's prices are different from Accra, even within Accra. The prices are a little bit different, so I always tell people, you know, give us about two weeks uh, to to get all that stuff. But, but yes, but Johnny will take care of you um, and stuff like that. So um, you you are in good hands, uh, Brim Pong. Okay, so it's about all these building projects. It's about long term, right? A long term decision making. It's about long term decision making, and sometimes uh, you need somebody to help you take a look uh you know at some of these things um you know and stuff like that and so um yeah, it's very very important you check you check you check with what what others are doing as well uh, because uh, it's money right it's money and you want to be a very resourceful right you want to be very resourceful and stuff like that so don't you can't know it all and i don't care who you are i think i think you're smart uh, building a house from the beginning, uh, there's so many things component uh, that you're not going to be able to remember. And the idea that you're going to make sound decision all along, um, it's not true because uh, you have no experience. Uh, that's the nature of life with everything. So so you will have to seek it somehow with somebody that you think they know what they're doing. Um, okay. So, and also to think about it, um, is, you know, I always believe, you know, we all can do this thing, right? We all can do these projects. Um, I believe, I believe we can do it. Um, for most people, I think we can, it takes, it takes a little bit of discipline and, uh, and, and that kind of stuff, but I really believe that, uh, it can be done. Um, so it's just about you honing in. And then, and then figure it out what you want to do. Okay. So, 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's a separate section. Um, you know, so they have, they have their own, their own space. It could be maybe you share a wall if it's attached, um, you know, and stuff like that. Um, and so, and so what is going to happen is, what is going to happen is that, um, I think you should be planning. I think, um, uh, especially for us that live outside, we, you know, we enjoy our privacy a lot. And so, um, sometimes when you share the same space, the same quarters, I mean, living room, you know, everything else with it, with, uh, with a house help or the caretaker, some people, it's a big deal, you know, for them, especially if the house is a little bit small. So sometimes they have that, uh, adjacent, uh, you know, attachment to it and, and stuff like that. Okay. So how do you find trusted? I mean, trust, you know, trust, trusted, you know, caretakers is, is, is difficult, right? It's very, very difficult. You know, stuff like that. so I I figured there will be two people living in there as you are building. You have some one of the workers if they live close to maybe occupy the place, and then, then as soon as you are done with finishing and stuff like that, then um, you know you're gonna move in the person that you vetted and trusted to 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 be a caretaker and stuff like that. It's a hit and miss, and I would say that now too. You know, everything that you hear a rumor about saying that um, the caretaker doesn't want to leave because they feel like you owe them money for supposedly taking care of the house. So I think now going forward, I think you should rent it to them. So uh, get it some kind of agreement, even rent it to them for maybe five, five, five Ghana CDs, just to make sure that was a contractual thing about they were renting the house, uh, should in case, you know, you know, they go to some legal route, you know, that's Ghana for you, you don't know what's going to happen. Then you can say, actually, they are, they are renting this place and they can move out, right? So do that. Uh, you know, stuff like that, because, uh, you know, some of them, are, you know, can have material motives. Um, yeah, so so to, to, to some extent, to some extent, because uh, even if you are not doing it, uh, that is when the, the team, the team you have and, and, and a lot of communication. So a lot of communication. And, uh, and so that will minimize that uh, because um there are certain things that I would not take I would not have them do because I'm not on the ground and then there's certain things you know after working with them for eight nine years there's an understanding of exactly how I want my things done and there's daily dialogue of images sent and then sometimes I'll do a video and I say okay you know correct it this way so that is what you need to uh, to do to to get it close to exactly uh, what you want, nothing substitutes, because sometimes you can be on the ground, you still don't know what the heck is going on, right? So, so nothing substitute your presence. But I also think that too, you can you can get a lot of things done when you have the constant communication, uh, constant you know communication and, and understanding the process and know exactly what you want and not change. I'm not a fan of you know changing too many things, is especially if it's already done. Because uh, then you know you're wasting resources, you know, time and stuff like that. So before they start a project, I'll do a drawing in touch of I say, okay, do this. Thing. I know this one says make it right, but do it this way. And then I'll call them to make sure that they they understand. And then the day they are working, I'm calling them to make sure that we're on the same right uh, frequency of of how things are going to be done. Other than that, um, and everybody's different. I like architecture stuff. Um, so I'm always, you know, you know, paying attention to that kind of stuff. Some people, it's not, it's not what it is. You know, it doesn't, they don't find any enjoyment from that. So they have other people just take care of those things, uh, you know, for them uh, and, and that kind of stuff. So it's about a constant communication of, um, but I can, you know, being around, I can see that uh, I am much more comfortable, much more seasoned from the first project because it took seven years of learning curve to now. Now it's just like, I feel like I know exactly what I want, what I don't want, and, and how to make sound decisions and stuff like that. So that experience, listen, I mean, uh, is it, for real, for real. It's like, uh, um, it's not it's not a joke, and it's going to mean the cost of thousands of dollars and also... Um, the cost of actually enjoying a house, um, you know, thinking that maybe you need certain things, but overall, one issue will be we make a ton of mistakes thinking that the way our kids behave in the West 
they're going to behave the same way when they go to Africa. No, they don't. They really don't. Um, they really don't. And so you might think that there's certain things that they like here, so you want to duplicate it over there, and you get there, and they don't. They're not going to. that thing Because it's a whole different environment, you know, um, they're going to operate a little bit different. They're going to be in a different mood. And, and, you know, stuff like that. And so and so those are things that comes by by just experience, just putting them over there uh, and then figuring out that, hey, listen, it's not it's not the same thing that they are used to doing in the West, okay? Uh, you know, stuff like that. So, so yeah, so the communication has to be, uh, it has to be on point. It has to, um, you know, it has to be on there if you want things done rightly because texting, it's not a good way of communicating uh, because people read it and they hear a whole different thing, what you're telling them. So I so I put it in test, I put in image, and then I make a phone call. I say, did you get it? This is what I'm saying. Then the day they start, so if I talk to them like this weekend, Monday morning, when they start, I'll call again to make sure we are good. Okay? I would say, I would say, um, uh, instead of, you know, like, I agree, you know, most people now, I, for the first house, the same thing, uh, basically, they just occupy one space in the house, uh, I said, quote, unquote, boys, but it's just one additional room, uh, bedroom, but the second one, I have a detached one, uh, and so I would say that, um, from my experience, like, my caretaker is fine, he can be in the house, like, I don't, trip over that um and stuff like that but people have different relationships you know um and sometimes women particularly you know sometimes they don't want you know the caretaker is a dude over there like right in their space um and, and stuff like that so i would say factor in uh uh and attach at the back of the house or on the side of the house i would say factor that in because when you look at it, uh, depending on the design, it's not really a lot. You know, the roof is, you know, it's, it's not really a lot of money per se. Detach is going to cost you more. And so I would say just, just build one, uh, you know, come up with a drawing. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be you modifying the blueprint and stuff like that. You can be creative about that. You can find a one-bedroom uh, one bedroom plan and see if it's going to work. And you just expand your foundation and just do it over there. So they have their own section, you know, stuff like that. So that'll be money well spent because at a certain point, think about it, this at a certain point, if you are living in the same spaces and it becomes uh, kind of like they're in your space, then, and you still want them to be on the property, you have to go, you have to do like a boy's cottage, right? So that would have cost you way much more further down the road. So it's better just to factor that into the plan. I think all of us, all of us, when we're building back home, should factor in some kind of like a boys' cottage design, whether attached or detached. Okay, because sometimes your, you know, your space, you know, the the land size may not allow you to do a detached boys' cottage. So that is when the uh, the architectural lens comes in, and that you can maybe spare about 10, 11 feet, uh, 11 feet by something. Um, and, then, and then create like a you know, bedroom shower and a small kitchen, whatever, stuff like that. Okay? So that'll be, that'll be my take. How do you vet them? Word of mouth, word of mouth. I think it's good you, are trans you should be transparent. You gotta, listen, you, so you gotta have, you have to be firm. Um, you have to be nice, but you also have to be firm. You have to set some boundaries. What is acceptable? What is not going to be acceptable? And uh, because I had a few conversations with my caretaker, who's a nice guy anyway. Uh, but but you know when you need to, it's your house, so you need to set the boundaries of what goes down, what doesn't go down, what is permitted, what is not permitted. Um, and if you have two stories, maybe the second part where you will stay with your family, you just lock those things up. And then bring it, uh, bring the keys, whatever, and stuff like that. Give the keys to somebody down there. In, in case you're about to go, you want them to go clean, clean a place for you. So you have to have this firm communication. You know, it's like um, uh, be nice, but also be firm. Have a, like a boss-employee kind of relationship. So you create that, you create that respect over there. 
and you know and let them know it's not a permanent right uh, and I would think now is the best time to actually rent it to them sign a contract and say I'm gonna rent it to you for five CDs a month whatever so if anything happens because some of them are going to court with some issues about how they've stayed and taking care of the house for five years whatever um and so you need to pay them up whatever they move and stuff like that so rent it to them even if it's one one CD Ghana get it get something in writing um and stuff like that and so if anything have it and they make a copy put it in your your you know your shared drive and uh, that kinds of stuff okay uh yes 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 um okay hi hi Gia. uh fligaki eric uh who was to give a few shout out uh anton uh let me see uh yes yeah, so royal committee here thanks for joining uh okay let's see where does your caretaker so so he occupies one of the rooms in the uh so he occupies a room you know overall he does a good job uh, putting about maybe you know 95 percent but I, I knew him i knew about 20 years uh, before you know i asked him to stay over there so uh, but um and and it's different so so here's the thing um sometimes you have a caretaker who has a job right they go to work um and that kinds of stuff and so you still i think that like, you still have to support them support somehow to what degree uh my caretaker, the relationship is that he doesn't work. Um, you know, I take care of everything in terms of uh, his living standard, uh, whatever any of his, his job is just to make sure everything is being taken care of. Um, so that is uh, you know, $700 a month. Uh, and so you have to, you have to figure it out what it is. Some people do, when you give them that deal, they become really lazy and stuff like that so um make sure they i would say for most people make sure they can't take i got a job and they do something that you support you support mentally and stuff like that like you know i, you know, I uh, and stuff like that so but if you pay them uh in my situation you, you don't you don't give them everything so they have like this incredible lifestyle they you just make them be okay okay so there's different situations you have to look at it uh um, and stuff like that. So I think it's fair that, you know, they do get some kind of like a financial support uh, on upkeep in certain things. You know, where where the number is, you know, is uh, factors a lot of things. The house is big. It needs to get cleaned up. You know, weeds needs to be get cut. Uh, trees need to be trimmed. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Things break down. You know, not that things break down. So I'm always fixing stuff. And stuff like that so that goes to uh, that as to the budget um you know and stuff like that so um, you have to factor that in okay yeah so you charge them you charge them and and you charging them per se in a, in a situation that when they go to court saying that quote unquote they were taking care of the property and they need this compensation right and most people for me every cent i've given my kid take his track you know, it's like, you know, you get, I pay him twice uh, every two weeks, you know, because sometimes you give them the, the money for the whole month, they blow everything. So every two weeks, and it's all tracked and stuff like that. So so he's being paid, you know, to take care of the house. So I have that document. But the situation that in which, you know, the person is taking care of the house and, you know, you're not supporting them. After some time, they will say that they've taken care of the house and granted, they got rent free, right? Um, so this thing is popping up in the news uh, and stuff like that. So I would say rent with them a dollar, uh, one one CD or five CDs, whatever, just to get some agreement saying that, hey, you are renting from me. So, uh, you know, you are a tenant. I was the landlord. And if I'm evicting you, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. And also, if you want to remove them, give them some time. I think minimum, give them about three months. And stuff like that, uh, you know, unless they do something atrocious, and you gotta send them out of there. But uh, it takes some time for, for them to find a place. All right, website and web So my website, you can see at the bottom, scrolling down, you know, www.royalconsultingsolutions.com.
www.ecoplanningcoach.com. You can read, you can check out the website and see what we have to offer. We do consultation, uh, which is, I think, is very, very important. It's very, very important, I'm telling you, uh, because things are changing, things happen. Uh, I never put negative comment on people's video on YouTube. Uh, either, either I say something I like or I don't say anything. And so uh, when we do consultation, I, we can talk about those things. And I can say, you remember that video X, Y, Z? That's actually has some kind of issues. Um, you know, stuff like that. So we do talk about stuff that doesn't go in public and also how to be uh, how to be efficient and how to stretch your money and, and all that stuff. So consultation is a must. Uh, I'll say probably you got to do a couple of times, maybe the beginning, you know, do it maybe, I would say, every major stage, you know, do them because there's uh, information is uh, evolving and, and things are doing and stuff like that. And there's different options. So other than that, uh, building a house from scratch, you, you know, it's a, it's a learning in his feet. It's a learning in his feet. And when you go to the public and, and there's all kinds of uh, different uh, information out there, some are good, some are okay, some are not great. And so you want to you want to make sure that uh, um, and when whatever they tell you, they should be able to explain and justify uh, why they are suggesting that kind of stuff like that. Okay. And so it's a dope. We also sell, you know, building guidelines. Mass, look at it. I looked at it now. I'm building the second time. So I'm also following those pr procedure as well to make sure it's efficient. Um, because there's a sequence, there's a sequence, you know, it's not subjective. There's a sequence of doing things uh, to make sure it's more reasonable. Uh, you don't want to do, you don't want to do your glass before you do your POP and your plaster, you know, has all, all kinds of problematic with that. And so there's a sequence in do something like they do it in the West. It's a sequence. They know when the plumbers come in, when, when the electrical guys can come to drywall, there's a sequence. Our part of the world, where everybody is doing whatever they want, and unfortunately, it costs you, uh, the property owner, you the one that's going to be coughing all this assets, right, and stuff like that. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. So take care. So take care, guy. Whatever, whatever that's supposed to mean. Take care. You know, the maintenance, making sure you know the lights are on. Things are not breaking down, letting me know and fixing things, you know, stuff like that. So just, just taking care of the house, um, you know, stuff like that. So that would be that would be for that. Um, he doesn't do the cooking, you know, you know, because he's a dude, he's not gonna cook for me, whatever. You know, and stuff like that. So I have, you know, I have people that come in when I'm down there uh, to, to cook and stuff like that. So Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you do something. I, I think you should support them, you know, every now and then, especially if you get a good one. I think you should support them and stuff like that. Um, you know, so, um, you know, because I, I mean, at the end of the day, they're still taking care of the house for you. And, and uh, uh, if you have a property somewhere and you have a real estate company running it, they, you have to pay some fee. I'm not a fan of not just giving them anything because you are, you are asking for you know, a few little troubles here and there. They could rent the place. Uh, and stuff like that. So I think you should support them somehow. Okay, the amount depends. On, it depends on a lot of factors. You know. Um, yeah, yes, yes. So these things do happen. You know, it does happen. And so yeah, that's why that's why you, you got to vet. Um, and and there's a way you can do it. And I'm not going to talk about. So I don't talk about the security stuff publicly. Because uh, people do watch as well. And so, but these are the stuff that we talk about. Uh, we talk, you know, what, you know, the, all the problems, the solution, all of them, you know, you know, the, the caretaker trying to sell your property, there's solutions for all of that. You know, there's, there's, there's solutions, and, but sometimes uh, you know, those are the consultation type, okay, uh, on how you can prevent yourself from these kind of things. Uh, security and guard house. Security and guys, has a ton of them. I can probably speak on security 10 hours straight uh, and stuff like that. Those are consultation specific because, you know, we because I have to factor in from, from neighborhood, the house, 
exterior uh, external parameters the internal parameter yeah uh, you know because most people think burglar proof can do it no it's not it can easily be defeated in literally less than a minute with things that is easily available and so you, there's a whole lot of this you know discussions in how you construct the house uh from you know um from building the house um then let's see if they get into the compound okay the layers you put in place is a ton of them like you know, it's, it's a ton of them that I can't go detail here and stuff like that. So um, book a session. Uh, we can take it. I'll share some of the things that I do per se. Listen, I sleep like a baby. You know, I'm not worried about you know, anybody trying to do anything uh, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, because first of all, they have to go through a lot. And and also, if they do get in, then, uh, you know, there's ways to, you know, to deal with that as well. Okay. So smash the like button, share, subscribe, please. Appreciate all your thoughts and stuff like that. Um, now the webinar, you know, we go on the website, you can see it. Uh, you can see uh, also, let me put it. Is the website uh, you can see and check on the website and then reach out to us and then we can, you know, we, we, we can take it from there, okay? Congratulations, congratulations. This is all about. So these are the stories I want to hear. These these stories uh, to me are uh, like um, the reason why I'm doing this is to, for you to see that uh, you guys are also being successful in your endeavors. Uh, and so these stories, like these, just hearing this, I can feed off this for a month, right? These are the things that inspire me as well. And so, um, uh, you know, I like, that is all it is for me is, is I want everybody that take their time. You could have spent your time to do something else that come and listen to me to just take whatever I could help them and move forward. So congratulations, AA. Um, you can do it 80%. Uh, don't forget somebody to share some pictures with me and yeah, stuff like that. So uh, it's, uh, that that is what I want to hear. You know, And so um, do it because um if you're doing that it's worth it for me it's worth it for me what i'm doing right if nobody's if it's not benefiting anybody in terms of tangible benefits then i think that i'm just uh, wasting my time okay so congratulations uh and then uh, hopefully someday you put your channel over there as well to to inspire other people okay Yes, it's part of the process. You are going to have to do that. You are really, this is how you're going to know where your friends are. When you start want to do something great, that is when you begin to know who really was a friend and who's not a friend. Um, and so you're going to lose some of them. I did lose some of them. And it's part of the process, right? It's part of the process because you have decided you want more out of life. And and, and also, okay, and then you just go, you know, your dream is non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable. It's not a discussion for anybody. It is your dream is your dream. So you go if you have to go solo, go solo. Um, that is what it would take. Uh, you know, and stuff like that, because uh, those friends, as wonderful they are, they're not gonna be giving you a place to stay down the road, right? And stuff like that. So so that is all part of it. Uh, the materials gotta go. Uh, we black people are very notorious in spending. Uh, the vacations got to go. I didn't go on a vacation for, you know, seven years, not even domestic. You know, I save everything. I got another job extra and I use, I use all that money. You know, I didn't buy anything. I drove one car for a long time. It's, that's what it takes. You know, you know, uh, so I'm proud of you. Okay. So um, you will get, you will get there soon. Okay. Anyway, a few more questions and then we're going to wrap up. So I would say go for the house. Uh, go for the house, uh, the main house, go for it. And then maybe, you know, add some, you know, some attach uh, if if you can fit in or uh, stuff like that. So that is why sometimes even the designing the blueprint matters because I've seen some homes that is very, very diff easier to break in. Like 
I look at a plan and say, if somebody just break in, they have access to the whole house. Um, so sometimes uh, if the plan is already bought, when we build, you know, we put certain things in places. So somebody is able to come into the house. It's still very difficult to come to where you are or your family is and that kind of stuff. So um, that is where the consultation is a must. Do it. If you do consultation, you don't like, I'll refund your money. Okay. Um, okay. So, so delay, like Eric said, delay the enjoyment and stuff like that. Listen, the real enjoyment is when you do it in your house, the style, the grand style. That is a whole different thing. Anybody can go to a hotel. Anybody can go rent a place. But when you do it in your house, uh, it's a whole different thing. So that is where the real enjoyment for me is. You know, when I go to Ghana, I can tell you I've stayed probably if you take the top 10 nicest hotels in Ghana, I'll probably stay at five of them. But there's nothing like home. When I when I go home, it is 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 a whole different thing. So so the real enjoyment is that's what it is. Okay. Oh yes, 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 yes. Nicholas and yeah, I was say yeah. Yeah, Joseph is good. Joseph is good. Yes, 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 yes. You know, yep. Yep, yep. So those are those are my guys. Those are my guys, you know. Uh, um Joseph, Joseph is phenomenal. Um, you know, stuff like that. So uh, those are my key guys. I'm very fortunate. I'm really, really for, very fortunate that uh, you know, I tend to find some key people uh and stuff like that. So I hold on to them and uh, stuff like that. So um, Joseph is gonna go do my roof uh, for this house as well, um, you know stuff like that. Uh, uh, so yes, uh, keep building, you know, uh, keep building, uh, keep working, and then um, you know make it happen. Okay. Other than that, two minutes, and then we're gonna wrap it up. So let me scroll through this quickly to see if I got all the questions answered. But I want you to know that I believe in you. Build, build, build. Um, you know. Overcome this, please overcome this. There's a lot of things going on in the world right now. Uh, build, you know, think about it this way. There were some Africans that couldn't move. The Ukraine students couldn't go back home. God forbid something happened in the West. Uh, have we prepared ourselves to be able to move back home? You know, something we need to think about, right? So don't buy the Range Rover uh, until you've done the things. You've earned the right to have a Range Rover. Okay, and so put that things in place that if anything happens, you can go home and, and, and that kind of stuff. So it's very, very important to me. Um, okay, don't compete with anybody. Uh, follow your own dreams and then learn as you go. You know, you know, education is a lifetime endeavor. Make it challenge yourself, absorb, you know, stay disciplined and then just go win. Okay. Uh, we begin. So we be able to start finishing in the first floor, then ground floor. Um, no work. Um, um, so let me see. You go. Um, so when you, so work. Yeah, work. It depends. Okay. Um, so when you do Thailand, go up. So when you do in Thailand, work up, and then come down. Because if you do the ground floor, and you, anytime they are moving stuff up there, they could drop something and break it. So you can work, you know, so you, yeah, you can, so you can do your plus and whatever. That's fine. You can, you can work up down. Um, it wouldn't hurt anything per se. And so, so, so that would be, yeah, that would be good. Um, you know, stuff like that. So then, then once you're done with the upstairs, there's no traffic, right? There's no traffic over there. So that's fine. So work, because I'm trying to figure if it's, a, it's something that would be a bad idea from working up. So since I can't think of one. Mostly uh, everything that you do from up down is uh, is good. So you can start with your, with your finishing uh, that way. And take your time. I suggest finishing is going to take you about two years to get everything down. Two years. And two years actually will be a quick finishing. And then stuff like that because you need a lot of money at that time. So take your time and then do it one at a time. Stuff like that. Yeah, so you can work from the, the upper level and then. Nido, do thank you. You inspire me. You guys still inspire me. You know when I see the videos of you guys are doing, you guys share with me what you are doing. Uh, it really also inspire me a lot because I'm not done yet. I am trying to push myself to see what is it that I can do. And so, but 
I would love we all win together. You know, that is, um, I don't want the, to be the only guy with you know everything. Whatever, there's no, there's no fun in that uh, and stuff like that. So I want you guys to also go get your own and make, make your dreams come true. Okay. Yes, and I've always said this, and I say that people say Tony hates his family. Um, your family should stay out. I don't even care if, um, you know, it has nothing to do with a relationship per se, which to some extent may be, but it's just that when the families are involved, uh, there's a tendency for the family members to think that they can get away with uh, some bad behavior. So, so, and knowing that you cannot really punish them, like you are different. I will punish anybody, but you are different. Some people cannot do it. And so I would say, keep the family out. And also the moment they start seeing it, like, oh my God, you have this money available for this project. So stay there. So keep them out. I've always kept them out. None of my families has been involved in any of the projects. They always are. And so you can you can have that and do your thing. So keep them out uh, and stuff like that because it is, it is going to be stressful for you. Uh, it is going to be a stressful for you when they are involved and stuff like that, even if they are a builder. Find somebody else. I'll find somebody else and stuff like that. So, okay. Yes, uh, I've been pulling, finishing is not easy, but uh, you see, finish is where it is at, right? It is the make or break moment, but hang in there and give yourself time. You know, we take, you know, you know. I mean, I, I'll share this with you. I remember one year, the Casua has I brought $80,000 for finishing. I still, we still couldn't finish it out. You know, because we have that big of a house and stuff like that. It took me two years. And so, because because I think at that time, you're doing like six projects. And at the same time, it's like, you know, you know, you got ties going on. You have kitchen appliances, you know, uh, fixtures, you know. It's like, um, you know, windows and and painting and external first world painting. There's, there's, you know, landscape, so many stuff going on. So take your time. Take your time. Really take your time, okay? All right, okay. So, yes, 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 yes. So, so keep them out. Keep them. Out. Uh, it's a business. Keep it more business. Business. Uh, keep them out. Uh, um, and because because it's like I've never seen one that ten are good. It's a problem. And and also this feel entitlement that like you saying that because they have come up, you know, some way done something on the project, they they part of it. So just, just just keep them out, okay? And so um, don't. It's easier that way. It's, it's easier that way, uh, okay? And so all right. So anyway, um, yes. So that's a statement, right? So same thing. Same. That's the formula. The same thing how they do. That's the formula. You cannot build these homes. And trying to live the life that you want to live is not going to work out this way. It's really it's not. You have to trade something. Life is about trading. You have to trade a bunch of stuff. So some friends, especially you have a friends that like going to the Caribbean, going to you know vacation stuff. You might have to maybe not be looking at that because this, this will become a distraction, right? And so this is what I find out. The whole thing reverse. The people that I grew up, I can tell you this. My friends and the people that I grew up with in their 20s and even 30s that were chilling don't have anything right now. They don't. They really don't have anything. Okay? So don't do that. Okay? Once you establish yourself and chilling is your thing, you can go back and do it and stop. Right? You want, it's about owning assets. So have more assets than liabilities. So in our generation, um, our parents didn't give us the house. I'm glad they didn't. And so we have to go in and earn this thing. So it's about owning assets, right? So every year, you know, we're building our assets more than our liability, okay? And our Range Rover is a liability. It's not an asset, okay? No matter what they tell me, it's a liability, okay? And so the house is the asset, all right? So that's what it takes. But Thank you, you know, Africa for Life. Uh, give a few shout out to the few people that came in somewhere at uh, Adom. You know, thank you. So I appreciate you taking the time. So, um, you know, keep working and 
follow the dreams. Don't let it die. It's okay. You will get disappointed sometimes. It's low. It can be stressful or anything like that. But keep working. That is how you break through. Keep working. Keep working. And then one of these days, you know, look out and be like, man, I finished, right? And so, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Enjoy. Have a great weekend. Uh, we'll meet again uh, um, sometime. Uh, same time next week. They're working on my project if I get some videos. Sorry about the videos. I'm not there. So the quality is not that great and stuff like that. So, uh, and stuff. so just bear with me. And when I do get there, I'll take some high definition uh, images and, and stuff like that. So keep working. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Bye.